So hello, I'm Rastis Alsabo from Pantheon Tech, and today I'll show you how we can build and deploy a CNF in five minutes. So before we go to that, let me talk uh, about what a CNF is. CNF or Cloud Native Network Function is a software implementation of some network functionality, such as router, switch, VPN gateway or firewall, which is uh, built and deployed in a cloud native way, meaning uh, that, that it runs uh, in a container in Kubernetes, it can be configured using cloud native APIs such as CRDs or gRPC, and it can be chained with other CNFs to provide uh, some more complex network functionality. So how can we build a CNF? Uh, in order to do that, we need to address three main challenges. First, we need to have a data plane which can provide directional network functionality. An excellent open source choice for that is the universal FDIO VPP uh, data plane. Then we need to build a cloud native control and management for it. And for that, uh, Ligato.io is a very good open source framework. And finally, uh, we need to uh, interconnect the CNFs with each other or with some external networking infrastructure, very often on lower networking layers than what we can get from the CNI plugins. And for that, uh, we can use the network service mesh IO project. And so the simple CNF that you can run in Kubernetes is essentially this, a Ligato VPP agent Docker image started in Kubernetes uh, with a single kubectl command. It already contains the VPP data plane and the management plane for its configuration, uh, but the data plane is not connected anywhere at this point. So it is uh, actually not doing anything. So how can we connect it uh, to some other CNFs? And one solution for that may be the network service mesh uh, with combination of the NSM plugin for Ligato, uh, which, uh, which provides a seamless integration of Ligato-based CNFs with network service mesh. Most importantly, it allows to define connections between CNFs fully declaratively without the need uh, for writing any code. As an example, let's think about the network address translation CNF that needs to be connected to two other pods here named as the client and the web server. The interconnection between the pods is first described with a standard NSM CRD as shown on this slide. And then another CRD is deployed, uh, which contains some NSM varying information uh, like IP addresses applied on NSM interfaces and the actual CNF functionality configuration, which is network address translation configuration, in this case, as shown on the right side of this slide. And the result of that deployment is shown on this picture. As you can see, we have three pods uh, with additional network interfaces attached by network uh, service mesh running here. And you can see that the client pod has uh, multiple network interfaces uh, connected to it. ETH0 is its uh, CNI and uh, the TAP0 is its NSM attached interface. The web server has one MEMIV interface uh, connected uh, to it by the network service mesh. And the uh, NAT404 CNF uh, running in the middle uh, has two MEMIV interfaces attached by the network service mesh with a network address translation configured between them. And here we have a curl test uh, where the client is accessing the web server via the NAT CNF pod through the NSM network interconnections. So if you want to reproduce this demo yourself uh, and explore it in a little bit more detail, feel free to visit this GitHub page, which contains all the deployment files and instructions for the deployment. That's it from me. Thank you for watching this talk.